Sorry I didn't get this on camera, but I removed all of the, the, the normal freeze plugs. Uh, I did it the, the typical way, just taking a punch, putting it on one, one side of the freeze plug and hammering it until it twists in the hole and then grabbing it with a pair of pliers and, and pulling it out. Uh, all of them came out pretty easy, except one. One of them, when I did that, it actually pushed it into the hole, but I was still able to, to grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out. It, it wasn't any trouble. So this, uh, this freeze plug that's on the end here where the cam is, you can't do that. You can't use that method with this because there's usually a, still a bearing in the way. <laughs> uh, so to get this out, I just used a, a rod from the other end and, and hammered it out. I also removed the freeze plug that's in this hole with that rod method, no problem. And I plan to remove the freeze plugs for the oil galleys here with the rod method also. Uh, after I remove these screw in plugs because I can just push the rod all the way through the, through the oil galley holes or through the oil galley. But when I tried to remove these, these plugs, I tried removing this one and with this 3 8 to quarter adapter and it, it just turned in the hole or turned in this, uh, this opening here. So my, uh, the next thing I'm gonna try to do is heat these up to loosen them and, and see if I can use this 3 8 to a quarter adapter to, to get these out of here and then remove the other freeze plugs. I'll heat these plugs up to between three and 400 degrees. Uh, I'll check with the, the laser thermometer and I'm using the heat gun. See if we can get those out. Starting off, they are about 73 degrees. That's 155. <laughs> All right, so maybe the heat gun isn't gonna work out. Something's going wrong with my heat gun. Yeah, we're already over 200 degrees just in a few minutes, just in oh, less than a minute. <laughs> Degrees. Let's see if we can get these out. No, that's just turning in the hole.
the heat didn't work. So I am going to try to drill this out to an eight millimeter size, tap it, put this, put this bolt in, tighten down the nut and remove it with the bolt. See, see how it goes. So that didn't, that didn't work either. So the material this plug is made out of, it's pretty short, the plug's pretty short and the material is kind of soft. So tapping it, I was just stripping it out whenever I was tightening down the nut. It just, it just kept pulling the bolt out, stripping the, the threads that I had cut. So I think I'll just keep keep drilling it until I'm able to just pull the uh, till the till the plug just disintegrates and I can just pull it out removing the threaded galley plugs oil galley plugs has turned out to be pretty difficult I've tried many different things from using a 3 8 to a quarter inch adapter um, to to trying to uh, drill out the the plugs and stick a, and tap the uh, tap the plug, put a bolt in there, trying to trying to get it out, heating them, trying to drill them out completely, and using an easy out uh, that didn't work. Uh, so the only thing that I've I, I've had to resort to was drilling them out completely almost down to where I was touching the threads and then and then re using a uh, a tap to uh, recut the threads so I was trying to avoid recutting the threads completely so what I did was I just uh, even though the plugs were still in the hole I used the tap to remove some of the material the plug material and get to where I was actually touching a couple of threads. And then I just kept working the tap back and forth, removing more of the plug a little bit at a time until you know I was able to fully engage all the original threads. And, and then that seemed to work. So, so here it is. Here are the threads. Looks like the uh, looks like I I was able to engage the original threads and and clean them up and remove the old the old plug material. So I'm gonna try to do that on the other two. Um, this one this one is how this the center one looked before I started. Well, I re I'm I'm gonna remove a little bit more of the plug material with the drill. 
and see if I can get close to the original threads before I start using the tap to, to remove the rest of the material. And this one, I may have uh, gotten into the threads a little bit. So I've got most of the material removed. I got a little more to get out of there. And then hopefully I didn't get into the threads too bad. We'll see. I'm going to continue drilling as much of the material out of this old plug as I can, trying to get as close to the threads without, without touching them. And then uh, with a uh, larger drill bit, and then I'll use a little, little drill bit just to go around the edge until I can get, again, as close to the, to the threads, as, move, remove as much as po material as possible and get as close to the threads as possible before I start using the tap again. I'm feeling in the in the hole to see how close I am to the threads. I can still feel plug material, the old plug material all the way around, and I can still feel the threads that are that are inside. So I will, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a chisel and a hammer and try to get as much of this material that's on the outside off so that I can see the rest of the plug material and then, and then the, uh, the outside of the original hole. Okay, that little piece came off pretty easy. So here's an example of the plug material that was still outside of the hole. All right, so I'm gonna continue to try to re remove some more material so that I can uh, start using the tap to hopefully engage the original threads. I have most of the material. I'm, I still don't see the threads. Uh, the, pl the old plug material is still covering up some of the threads, but I'm gonna start to try to use the tack to get a hold of the, to clear out a little bit of the material and get a hold of the first couple of threads. After working it for a while, you can see the remains of the the plug that ended up on the uh, the end of the tap. So, so now the all the threads are clear, and the tap should go in as normal. There it goes. All right, and it, it went all the way to the bottom, to the end of the original threads. Okay, finally got the three plug holes cleaned up. 
threads, the threads cleaned out. And these are the original threads. I just use the tap to, to clean them up and get the old material out. Here are two of what's left of the, the plugs after I drilled them and then used the tap to, to wear away some of it, some of the plug until the, 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 what was left got stuck on the tap and I was able to pull it out. So now I can stick a dowel in those holes and pop out the, the plugs on this end. So there's a rod that I bought at, I think it was Home Depot for about three bucks. It's a uh, three sixteenths inch diameter and it's three feet long. I'm just gonna use it to poke out the, the other cats. They're fine. I'm removing the cam bearings from the block. Right, there's the first one.
All right, that wasn't, uh, wasn't too difficult. Everything came out as expected.